after praising the King of all kings, the Master of the Day of Judgment, the One, the Only, Allah Azza wa Jalla, the Mighty, and sending salutation on the Imam of the Prophets, the leader of the Prophets, the Messenger Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. My brothers, is one occasion when this individual had a jinn inside them and they were possessed by a jinn. And when I was taking this jinn out, recitation of the Quran, I spoke to the jinn. And I asked the jinn that why did you go inside this person? What has this little girl done to you? She was only 13 years old and she had a jinn inside her. The jinn said, the eye went inside this girl because she listened to music and I love music. She didn't bathe herself, nor did she clean herself after going to the toilet. So for that reason, the day she started her menstruation, she was vulnerable and that is the day I went inside her. So when I took the jinn out, Wallahi, this is a true story. I went back to my house. On my return, I felt like something was following me. I was sit down. I would feel like something is sitting next to me. I would hear cries from a corner of a room. If I walk up the stairs, something will follow me. And then one occasion when I was lying down, I was about to go to sleep. I fell asleep. Hours passed. I opened my eyes and I seen my wife smiling. And she was lying next to me. Wallahi, a true story. I looked at her and I said, what are you smiling for? And she just kept on smiling. I closed my eyes. I went back to sleep. I turned the other way around. And then I opened my eyes realizing that my wife, she was at home that day. She was at her parents' house. So when I turned back around, my wife wasn't there. And this was a jinn that come in the form of my wife to taunt me through the night. This is why my brother is very important before you try to tamper with taking jinns out. They will come after you. And they will try to mess around with you. And they will cause problems for you. This is why seek protection. Make sure you recite the du'as before going to sleep. Recite ayat al-Qursi. Recite Blow in your hands and wipe over your body. And inshallah, this will definitely protect you. The jinns, they could transform into humans. They could transform into animals. They will deceive you. They will mess with your brain. But you have Allah. Stay firm and steadfast with your prayers and you will see that Allah the Almighty will protect you and He will guide you through life.